Hi, this is Shana. Welcome to my channel. And this pick a card reading is on the subject. Will you ever see them again? And if so, when? So we have here three possibilities for you to choose from. We have pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. So take your time to choose your pile. And I will see you in a couple of moments. So if you chose pile number one, this is your reading. So the card you chose says, listen to your intuition. This at first may not seem to be very helpful, but actually the card is telling you that you already know. You already know deep down inside what is going on. You already know what's going to happen. There's a feeling that you get, there's something there that's, you know, that is not lying to you. You already know. Now, the first card, we have here the first three cards. We have seduction, passion, and romance await. And this tells us a yes, a very sound and, redund and resounding yes. So, yes, you're going to see this person again. And it's like, it's can even be romantic or you're going to reignite the passion you have for one another. So there will be a possibility of something more happening between you, but we have the gate. That's the thing. There's a but here. I'm so sorry. Um, here we says um, a barrier keeps you from your goal. Yeah, okay, no. So a barrier keeps you from your goal. So there's you're going to see each other again because there's a... Uh, there's such a, an intense attraction between you both that it's like you're bound to meet. It's like there's a bond between you both that's very, very strong. Even if you haven't seen this this person for years now, this bond is like, it's still there. The attraction will still be there. And it's like it's pulling you together. This is something that calls you together across the the ages, I would even say. I know I'm sounding very, very romantic, but... There's something here from what I'm feeling that is very strong, but there's a barrier. There's something between you. And this may be an ongoing story that um, even in the past, you know, you've been very attracted to one another. Uh, you've had romantic feelings for one another, but there was always something in the way, whatever a shape or form. But it's like you know, the completion of your love or the getting together was never possible or not in the way that you both desired. But you're attracting one another. You're, call, you're calling out for one another, actually, uh, even on an unconscious level. It's like, even if you say, no, no, I'm okay if I don't see the person. Even if you say, um, I hope I don't see them again, right? Um, it's something they are still calling out for this person. It's like some uh, unresolved business. Now, let's see what we have here. Then we have number 18, the dog from the Lenormand cards. And then we have number 42. This is the compass. Yeah, again, there's really a line that binds you. There's like... I think maybe you've been with this person even in other lifetimes, if you believe in other lives. And so it's like this, like I said, it's across the ages. I have this feeling. Uh, but you, you always lose one another for some for some reason. The, the, the vibe that I'm getting here is this star-crossed lovers. You come really close and off. You know, then there's something that never lets you come together. And here with the compass, it's like you lose each other, then you found you find each other again, then you lose each other, then you find each other again. Again, I'm getting this feeling of an ongoing story. You know, it's like there's a cycle that would need to be broken. I don't know if you will break it the next time you see it. I don't think so because of the barriers. So it's like the story is bound to be repeated somehow. But there is a very deep link also here with the dog. The dog is for loyalty, deep friendship. And there's a deep, deep bond, even something that you may not understand. Well, I'm not understanding right now. So I'm trying to give it to you as, uh, as well as I can. But there's a very deep bond. And it can be that although there are romantic feelings here at play, that when you meet again, you'll be then friends. You know, not as um, romantic partners, but you'll be friends 
yeah but it, for some of you it will be good for others of you not really and it could be that one of you is also traveling uh or you know that you're far away from one another at the moment there's some distance here but take it as it resonates for you okay now done the last two cards here from those that i have already put aside we have the seven of wands there we go this is like the obstacles and we have the queen of, Pent of pentacles and this is the obstacle your person may already be otherwise engaged yeah have already have a partner in their life you know or you have a partner one of you or even both of you have a partner and this is you know the odds you're fighting against if you want to fight at all but this is the gate this is the obstacle there is attraction there is there probably even be a chance for romance but i don't think that anything will happen i think that you'll stay friends or in a, on a friendly basis uh, because there's this um yeah there's someone else you know like a, a third party here or even a fourth party for some of you and this keeps you from getting further but if you wanted um a confirmation of this very 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 strong attraction yes 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 you will see each other again but you'll probably not get together i'm so sorry but let's see if this seeing each other again when will it happen and maybe we'll even get some further information let's see what the cards would like to tell us give me a second yeah there you go sorry there were other cards here in between because i put two decks together and sometimes it's confusing now now the first card we have in autumn so next autumn wherever you are in the world it will be next autumn for some of you it will be now because uh after the next equinox because um, you're in the southern hemisphere so autumn is coming soon when i'm recording this for the others in the northern hemisphere then it will be yeah in autumn it will be after summer <laughs> i'm sorry so in one year so autumn in one year for some of you please take this maybe this is also telling us how long you've been apart take it as it resonates for you and just give me a second what else okay see my cards are getting getting a bit aggressive there's a ring so yes yeah, someone is married and this person has been married even for three years for some of you this would be and we have november november is next autumn yeah so this was just a really quick reading i hope it resonates i hope it inspires you and i wish you a wonderful time full of love thank you so if you chose pile number two this is your reading here so and the card says unlikely so there are things that are getting in the way of this reunion of or of seeing this person again and we have here these three cards so and please take this as it resonates if it doesn't make sense to you then it's not your reading okay so we have the black cat your luck will soon change we have fire reckless actions lead to conflict and we have unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going now what i see here is a change of heart and it could be your heart is changing as well right so it could be that what i'm getting here is like you are hung up on someone right that you are holding on to someone or to a memory or to um a hope but that's not the right person for you this is not the right connection for you 
and like fate knows it. It's like fate has other plans for you and it says it's changing. And I would believe or I feel that it's changing for the better, even if at first you won't feel that it's better for you. And um, and so here with this card, with the fire card, it can be that because of this change of heart, be it the change of heart of the other person or, or yourself, uh, but it could be that the circumstances change as well. You'll try to hang on and you probably will try to chase this person down. And there's no judgment here because, you know, we all go through such phases in our life or most of us, I would say. But the cards are telling you there's no need. You know, they're actually inviting you to go with the flow. You know, and it can be hurtful, you know, either like it, it also hurts when you stop liking someone as well. You know, it's not it's it's different and it's weirder, but uh, it hurts when other people lose interest. But it's also difficult when we lose interest, especially if you're already in a relationship. But what I find here is like this person is probably not doing enough, not putting enough effort in the relationship like you would like. And things start to change. Things, or this was in the past, where this person even probably ghosted you and he kind of triggered you into becoming a chaser because this person became a runner. This could be one of the possibilities. So if this is not your scenario, so this is not your reading, okay? very important take what it resonates but i think you are changing your heart there's a big change here that's what the other cards have to say we have here from the lenormand 34 we have fish cat and fish interesting then we have here the the scythe i guess yes um number 10 so I'm getting the song from Tori Amos, Honey, where the chorus is, you're just too used to my honey. And what I get here in this context is like you're getting used to a situation uh, that's not good for you. You know, um, getting used to maybe just living the situation in your head or getting used to just crumbs and think this is what's changing. You're cutting this off. You're cutting, you're getting out of this... Um, pseudo um or pseudo um comfort zone because it's not really comfortable because you're hurting and it could be that uh when you said goodbye to this person or when you went separate ways you were like in strife or you had had arguments and you know you weren't talking to one another anymore and it's like saying keep your distance also here with the fish keep your distance um from this relationship this person is like this person won't do anything to reach out. And I deep inside, I have the feeling you don't really want this relationship either. Is that something you, you want to hope for? I'm, I cannot put it exactly in words right now, but it's like it's kind of a comfort zone thinking about something or making idealizing it. That's it. Idealizing the past romanticizing it and maybe it wasn't as bad as I thought maybe it was if we worked at it if we did this if we done that but it's 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 not ideal for you like it's not it's not your destiny this person is not your destiny I, I believe there's someone else coming in but then we have the hermit and then we have the sun and it's like the cards telling you, yeah, you'll be changing your mind about this person. You'll be realizing that this person is not for you. You know, you'll get a lot of clarity. You're going to find happiness, first of all, on your own, possibly. You're going to be happy or already are happy on your own. But I have the feeling there's someone else coming in. Let me just get here two cards to get some information on this. Just two cards. Just to have confirmation or maybe something else. Let's see. Yeah, again, a breakthrough. You're going to see through confusion. You're going to see things for what they really are. Yeah, 
and the three of coins you're just being celebrating yourself you're going to work on yourself on your dreams on your projects so you're going to focus more on yourself working with other people and uh, going out more having fun and the card just flew away just give me a second now yeah, like the three of cups there you go going out having fun and exactly and there is a prince coming we have justice and the king of cups so there's another person coming there's another person coming um maybe some of you are even getting through a divorce like a big separation and it's going that's the best thing you can do it's separate yourself from the past you know leave the past behind there's someone else coming in someone that's really right for you and we have the dragon here and there you go we have a dragon <laughs> so and just to give you when is this new person coming into your life we have baby i don't know what this means yeah, maybe you'll have a baby with this new person. Maybe you have a baby with this past person. I don't know. Yeah, but the past person is not the one. And maybe the past person is just a huge baby. Okay, but with a new person. When is the person, new person coming in? Well, in one month. Anything else? Just one more card. Yeah. Next week in one month. So, like, the 4th of April, more or less, you know, beginnings of April. And, but if you're watching this in another timeline, then it will be that next week in one month. So, file number two, this was your reading. I hope this uh, was helpful. I hope this resonated and I hope this inspires you as well. It was a quick reading, but to the point and straightforward. So, have a wonderful time, full of love. Thank you. So if you chose pile number three, this is your reading. So will you meet your person ever again? And if so, when? We have reconsider. This is interesting. Let's see. Put this stone over here. There you go. Now, we have the first card and it says golem. A close friend acts on your behalf. And then we have earth. Utilize logic, reason, and common sense, and then give your relationship a chance. With reconsider, is like, yes, you're thinking about someone you had a relationship in the past. You want to give it another go. Um, and it could be that someone in, uh, so a, a dear friend is trying to put some sense into you really to tell you to reconsider and to remember what was really going on between you and why you broke up in the first place or why you went different ways in the first place. And it's like, even if you come together, this, this is not a yes and this is not a no until now. Um, it's like, even if you come together, it's like uh, things have to be different from the past and you have to see things for what they are, not through rose tainted glasses, you know, not through the eyes of hope and love and, um, and stuff. So, and you should trust a friend. You should really talk to a friend, you know, in order to to help you stay grounded. So I would say that, yes, you're going to see this person. Yes, I have the feeling. Yes. And you're going to feel very tempted to give another go to this relationship. But it's like something here is like warning you, because even if you go to this relationship or you start again, it has to be different from the past. Another set of rules. Uh, things have to really be different between you two. And there's a close friend that kind of will uh, try at least to keep you grounded, which is quite important. So and then we have the cards here. This reading is uh, actually quite fast. So it's not going to be very long of 40 minutes. It's like eight minutes, something like that. OK, so um, then we have the storage. There you go. And we have the coffin. So it's like trying to revive something from the past again. So it's reviving something from the past, like a relationship that is coming back. You can revive it, but you have to be careful again. If you have to revive it, the nest has to be built differently. There has to be other rules. Otherwise, it's doomed to, to die again. Okay, so you can revive it. There's a possibility here, but you have to be really 
wary of the red flags. And again, I would trust a good friend to keep you grounded, you know, someone that you completely trust. Then we have the moon. And we have here the two of wands, okay? Well, with the moon is this uncertainty, of course, and it's also a bit the illusion. Be careful with the illusion, right? And stay grounded. You see here this dancing. One foot is not on the ground, and there's so many things going on. And and maybe, you know, like this person may come in and be a bit playful and like, wow, and, you know, kind of charm you. And But to be sure that this person really means it, that this person is really serious about you, that this person really wants the same commitment as you do. And that's not just trying to woe you, just trying to charm you. Um, I'm being a bit biased against this person somehow, having like not so good, such a good feeling. But if you um, really like put yourself first, if you are very like uh, logical and... Um, grounded about it this can work you can make it work but it has to be in a way that it's really the best thing for you it has to be really well suited for you this is what i mean here i hope i'm making sense but yes you're going to see this person again yes and you can even come together again yes um so let's see when when oh we have the first card in nine months yeah, so we have now the 1st of March, it's three in nine months is December, exactly. So next December, and yes, there is still love here in this connection, yes, but don't let it blind you. Remember, if it's starting over, remember why you went separate ways and try to make it better. There's a promise here, okay. Something about a promise, maybe a promise was broken in the past, or maybe you are making, yeah, nine months from March, or March is an important date for you, exactly, yeah. So, and this was your reading, I told you it's a really quick reading, this was even quicker than the ones before, I'm so, but it was straight to the point, it was very, very clear. I hope this helped you, I hope this inspires you and um, I wish you a wonderful time full of love. Thank you.